A human rights group says the U.S. government is failing African migrants. The developments stem from a 2022 report that found the U.S. violated the human rights of dozens of asylum seekers during the Trump presidency. Among the allegations, torture and restraint. Take a look at one such constraint called the RAP. The New York-based group Human Rights Watch alleges the U.S. sent Cameroonians with credible asylum claims back to the country they fled and on top of that mistreated an already traumatized group of people. Now some of those subjected to the alleged violations are filing lawsuits against the U.S. Department of Homeland Security and immigration authorities. Plaintiffs in two lawsuits say they were fleeing violence against English speakers in their native country in Africa and then face racist abuse in U.S. detention facilities. Among the more alarming allegations in the lawsuits, plaintiffs say they were tear gassed in confined spaces and subjected to solitary confinement. They also claim they were confined in restraints and subjected to medical neglect. According to the complaint, some Cameroonians began a hunger strike to protest the alleged mistreatment. As a result, ICE allegedly deported three of them back to Cameroon, where they were forced into hiding out of what they say was a fear of being arrested and tortured by Cameroonian authorities. The suit alleges that the men were forced into restraints called the RAP, a device designed to humanely restrain someone who may be a danger to themselves or others. But the RAP has been called into question by civil rights groups, which in 2021 claimed that it has not been used correctly in detention centers. ICE enforcement and removal operations is using the RAP in a manner that constitutes torture or cruel, inhumane, and degrading treatment in violation of the Convention Against Torture. An ICE spokesperson told the Washington Post that it does not comment on ongoing litigation. In 2022, President Biden granted Cameroonians temporary protected status, a measure that, if granted under Trump, would have allowed the plaintiffs to temporarily stay in the U.S. as they sought asylum. An attorney who helped bring the litigation says this is part of a bigger picture, saying, quote, the treatment of black migrants needs to be part of the broader conversation about race in this country, end quote.